Welcome to this episode of AWS Quick Start series on hosting your e-commerce store with AWS. My name is Aarti and I'm a Solutions Architect with Amazon Web Services. Today, I'll be walking you through the steps needed to configure your Magento e-store using Amazon LightSail. Magento is a very popular open source e-commerce platform based on PHP. It offers you a lot of flexibility to customize and ex extend your e-commerce store. Amazon LightSail, on the other hand, is a virtual private server offering from AWS. It was primarily designed to make it very easy for you to get your workloads up and running on the cloud. You do not need to have any background expertise on running or managing infrastructure on AWS. There are a few unique features about Amazon LightSail that sets it apart from other AWS services. Let's take a look at what those are. First, LightSail is a bundled offering. This means when you sign up for Amazon LightSail, it comes as a package that includes compute, storage, and networking. Further, each of these components are pre-configured for you. Next, Amazon LightSail comes with a fixed pricing plan. Prices start from as low as $3.50 a month for Unix and Linux-based operating systems and $8 a month for Windows. What this means is that you can easily predict your costs at the end of each month. LightSail has its own console that is designed to make it very intuitive for you to get your applications up and running with just a few clicks of a button. Although designed to be easy to use, you still have the ability to grow and build complex workloads as your business grows. For example, you can provision additional storage for your Amazon LightSail instances, or you could set up a load balancer to distribute the traffic across multiple LightSail instances. You also have the ability to integrate with other AWS services. For example, you could run your website on Amazon LightSail, but choose to host your relational database using Amazon Relational Database Service or RDS. For those of you in the audience who prefer programmatic access, you have an API and a command line interface to interact with. With that, let's look at a demo of how exactly you can set up your Magento e-commerce store using Amazon LightSail. So there are three important steps to this. The first, you would log into your LightSail console. Second, you will use the pre-configured Magento Blueprint to set up the e-commerce store. And finally, once your store is up and running, you will be able to log in and monitor the application. We are now logged into our LightSail console. Let's go ahead and click on Create Instance. You will see that the region has defaulted to Singapore in this case. But LightSail, however, is available across different regions in the world. We will stick with Singapore for this demo. The next thing you see here is an availability zone, also referred to as the AZ. AZs are isolated locations within a region. You can distribute your resources across AZ and design your application such that if one resource fails, the resource in another availability zone can take on the load. So this is a great way to make your applications highly available on AWS. For this demo, we will choose with the default selection of Zone A. The next thing we will do is select our operating system. You can choose between Linux and Unix-based operating systems and Microsoft Windows. For this demo, we'll be using a Linux-based operating systems. Blueprints on Amazon Light Sales give you pre-configured applications on the operating system itself. You, however, have the option to start with the plain operating system and install the application of your choice on this. Again, for this demo, let's make use of the pre-configured Magento Blueprint. You can also customize your instance as it starts by specifying additional launch script here. Next, since we have chosen a Unix-based instance, LightSeal will provide you an SSH key in order to connect to the instance you will see that it has set up a default key for you to use. You can download this key locally and use it later on to SSH into your instance. Next, you need to pick the instance plan and we will choose the $5 plan. Please note today though, LightSail plans start from $3.50. Next, we will just create one copy of our Magento instance. So let's click on Create. And you will see that our Magento instance now shows up on the dashboard with the status as Pending. Let's take a quick look at the other tabs here. 
Amazon LightSeo gives you the ability to associate a fixed public IP address with your LightSeo instance. If you do not have a static IP, every time your machine restarts, it will come up with a new IP address. A static IP address, on the other hand, will persist across restarts. Also, if you're building a customer-facing website, you will likely want to associate your own custom domain name with this website. So LightSail provides you basic DNS management capabilities as well. Finally, you have the option to configure a load balancer to distribute your traffic across multiple LightSail instances. This is a great way to scale as the usage increases on your Magento instance. Next. Under storage, you'll see that you have the ability to configure additional storage for your Magento instances by clicking on Create a Disk. Make sure here that you choose the same region in which your Magento instance was created. You have the option to allocate sizes starting from 8 gigabytes all the way up to 16 terabytes. You should see an estimate of your cost for the disk choice. For this demo, we will not be creating any additional storages. Snapshots are now point-in-time images of your LightSail instances, and they are a great way to build your disaster recovery strategy. You can snapshot the entire instance or just the storage components and use the snapshot to create a new LightSail instance. Now, if we go back to our Instances tab, we can see that our Magento instance is up and running. So let's go ahead and look at the details of this instance. The first tab you see here is the Connect tab that tells you two different ways to connect to your Magento instance. You can directly SSH into this instance or you can connect to it over the public IP address. So let's look at both of these connection options. LightSeal gives you an option to SSH into your instances directly using the browser. You also have the option to use the SSH key you downloaded earlier to connect to your instance. So let's click on Connect Using SSH. And you will see this that this takes you to the terminal of your instance and you can type commands in here. For example, in this case, I have listed the contents of the current directory. You will also see a clipboard icon in the bottom right of your screen, which makes it very easy for you to copy commands from your local instance to your Magento instance. For example, here, let's use the cat command to view the credentials that we can use to connect to our Magento instance. Please note that the reverse is also possible. That is, you can copy details from the terminal onto your local instance. So for example, in this case, let's try to copy the password for our Magento user. And if we go and click on the clipboard icon at the bottom right, you will see that this password, ha password has been copied. Next, let's go ahead and actually try to connect to our Magento instance using the public IP address here. Let's copy this address and paste it in a new tab on the browser. And you, you will see that this takes us to the landing page on Magento. The next thing we will do here is we will use the credentials that Magento has set up for us to log into this instance. So let's make sure we copy the password again. The default username is just user. The admin terminal on Magento is available in the URL slash admin. Please note that your browser does not block any pop-ups, otherwise you might not see this login page. Once this page loads up, we will specify our user as user, which is the default username, and the password that we copied earlier on. So when you click on sign in, this should now take you to the default page. You will see here that you get a message to install some important updates on this Magento image. And at this point, we do not have any user configured. So if we go back and click on our metrics tab, we should see useful information about the Magento instance, like CPU utilization, the amount of data flowing in and out of our Magento instance, 
and also the overall health of our magenta instance. If we hover over the graph, you can see the actual values for these metrics. The history tab here keeps track of all the actions that were performed on your Magento instance. If I choose to create additional storage, then the action will show up here. You can stop and reboot your instance using these two buttons on the top. And finally, you can use the delete tab to delete your Magento instance. And with that, we've concluded this demo. As a next step, I would encourage you to visit the LightSail console at aws.amazon.com slash LightSail and find out more about the different features that LightSail has to offer. You can avail the free, free trial for the first month of your LightSail usage. You can use LightSail to build your web applications, blogging sites, e-commerce stores, or even your test environments. Also note that AWS itself offers you a 12-month free trial period in which you can play around with many different services. If you are someone who is aspiring to build your own startup, then you can leverage the AWS Activate Builders program. This gives you free credits and access to free trainings. You can find out more about this program by visiting aws.amazon.com activate. And with that, I'd like to thank you for watching.